yo podría empezar a dar gritos porque estoy con uno de los artistas que más me gustan del cartel del Mad Cool este año. James Bay, it's a gift to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me, man. It's uh, like two years since your last visit to Madrid. I imagine that you must be excited. I'm very excited. Uh, when I, two years ago, I played in Madrid for the first time. Um, I can't remember if I'd played in Spain much before that, but it, it was my first time in Madrid. It was the start, it was the first show of, of a month in Europe yeah. uh, on a European tour. I, I didn't know what to expect, but to this day, I'll remember it as one of the greatest crowds I ever played in front of. We were in this venue, and the way that the sound of the crowd rattled around this venue, it was, it was moving. I, I, had a, I had a very good time. Today you are here with uh, new songs, with your new album. How is Breathing Live this new material? Uh, the fans are doing that, to be honest. You know, I was very excited to get this music out, and I'm glad that it's out there now, and it's been a lot of fun playing it. But that's, other than, you know, streaming the music, buying the music, listening to the music, um, it's, it shows that the fans breathe the most life into the music uh, when they sing it out, you know, when they sing it back. Um, so it's down to them, but it's, it's, it's great that it's out there, that it's born into the world, you know. Just to know how many times you've been asked by the loss of your famous hat. Uh, so many times, so many times. Pretty much every day, about 10 times every day. Um, but, you know, and maybe in, a, in, in weather like this I should have held on to it. But, um, yeah, t maybe too often. I have to celebrate because it's like a visual message saying, hey guys, I'm here, I'm back, but I have new things to show you. That's exactly what it was, you know, as an artist. Um, it feels like my kind of responsibility to push the boundaries and explore new sounds, new everything, uh, bringing the old stuff with me. So I, I, I've done that. I'm looking forward to later on playing old songs as well as new ones. Did you have clear since the beginning that you wanted to do different things? Yeah, yeah, I did. It was, it was all an intention. I, 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 I played shows in a hat, long hair for 10 years. Uh, since way before I met my record label. Um, so a few years ago, you know, it became clearer to me that I would change eventually and maybe I'll change again, you know. How was the recording process? I imagine that was a lot harder than your debut album. You know, I think it was easier. I yeah. actually think it was uh, somehow it was slightly easier because I was more familiar with the studio. I was more at home in the studio. It made more sense to me. Um, there were other things that were more of a challenge that were harder, but... Um, no, I, I, I enjoyed it more, which kind of makes it a bit easier. The songs uh, have a powerful message about this evolution. For example, Wild Love, mm. it has an incredible atmosphere. Okay. It's a, a very charming song. Thank you. Yeah, I had, I had a new level of confidence um, writing this album. And that's where that, that kind of charming aspect, I think, comes from. Um, I also kind of looked out beyond myself uh, and found I had a lot to say about unity and people being together, you know. But my favorite one is Pink Lemonade, yeah. amazing banger. Oh. You must be enjoying a lot playing that song live. Yeah, man, we, we are having a lot of fun. It usually comes near the start of the set and we're having a very good time. People get straight into it and go pretty crazy. It's a lot of fun. Your new single, Us, is a collaboration with Alicia Keys. You are playing hard, man. No, man. She, 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 uh, I'm playing so hard, I'm wearing a t-shirt that says Us on it. She's, um, she's, I'm a big fan of Alicia. I have been since I was a kid. And uh, it's just an honor to get to work with her. And I, we, we even got to perform the song in America uh, on TV. So, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, it's a real honor. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of hers. And, uh, It's a special song to me as well, so it's it's a it's a big um, exciting thing to be able to do. Do you like playing here in Mad Cool with all these incredible bands and artists? Yeah, man, I re I really do. It's it's an amazing lineup, and uh, I don't know. Like since I first came to Madrid, and since I first played in Spain, the fans here have been incredible, and it's just exciting to get back to them. James, you have to leave because you want to be on the first line of a special concert for you yeah. from a very special artist yeah. for you. Yeah, my, uh, my, uh, my brother is playing um, at this same festival, Alex Francis. He, um, yeah, he's doing a set uh, pretty soon and uh, I just got in, we just landed. 
and uh, I just haven't seen him perform in a while, so I really want to go. I think he's playing at 6.30, uh, and he told me it's called the Thunder Bitch stage, yeah. <laughs> uh, which I'm pretty excited about, so is he, so I'm going to go and watch him. Okay, thank you very much, James, and thank you very much for your talent. Uh, the album is one of my favorites of this year, and, uh, and, and it's incredible being here, speaking to you about your songs and about your music. Thank you so much for having me, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you.